The High School Ethics Bowl teaches and promotes honesty, respect, responsibility, compassion, fairness, citizenship, ethical awareness, critical thinking, civil discourse, civic engagement, and the appreciation for multiple points of view. Peel all that away, and you also have a competition where these students analyze ethical cases. They face questions on complex social issues from judges like Palm Beach County School Board Chairman Chuck Shaw. The students who do this are amazing, and they take on questions and topics that are very difficult, very, could be very controversial, but they're well thought out, they know what they're talking about, and they're extremely well prepared. So it's something that we should be very proud of. The hard work to prepare includes studying philosophy, politics, and current events. The goal is to work together as a team to provide opinions on difficult social issues. In our world, we're filled with lots of challenges and, you know, of what's right and what's wrong. And it's really important that we instill in our students really to think through about what's right and wrong. And through the Ethics Bowl, it provides an opportunity to debate some of the challenges that exist in their day-to-day -day lives. Some of the issues discussed, public versus private charity, religious freedoms, and race relations. Dialogue is our way to communicate. Um, it's our way as human beings to find solutions. Without dialogue, we don't have any uh, social interaction. A lot of people have disagreements in today's society, and I think the Ethics Bowl really helps people work together and come to conclusions together on things. The key component of the competition, competitors expressing their conclusions in a calm, confident, and conversational manner. Both the teams know the importance of really just trying to be calm and look at things through different perspectives and to really put aside egos and put aside sense of right and wrong and to really look at, establish an argument first of all and then look at things with different perspectives and be open to the best po possible solution. And the best possible solutions provided by the students at Atlantic High School. After a number of preliminary competitions, Atlantic provides both teams in the Ethics Bowl final. It was a group effort from a lot of people to be able to get both these teams to this point. And I'm very proud of my students and I'm very proud of my school. The final question dealt with online security. John Locke would argue that um, such a maneuver crosses the line. In the end, Atlantic Team A wins the trophy. The key is definitely good teamwork. It's being able to establish a clear argument with your group because everybody comes with a different background, different perspective on ethics and morals and being able to work together and just make a one solid claim that you can defend well as a team is definitely a key part of it. The winning team from Atlantic now travels to Chapel Hill, North Carolina for the U.S. Ethics Bowl Championship in April. Win or lose at Nationals, these students want to share an important message. Really? If People sat down and took the time to discuss with one another and talk about their ideas. I think they find they have a lot more in common than they think. Because in the end, everybody's just trying to build a better America. It's just a matter of how. And just because you disagree with somebody doesn't mean you have to hate them. Instead, I think having a discussion about it, really talking about it and trying to be constructive, is one of the things that we need to look at moving forward. As adults, we can learn a lot from these students. I'm Rick Blackwell for the Education Network, keeping you informed.